Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. Welcome into my studio. On this quick video, I'm going to show you how to do an underpainting for this leopard oil painting I did a while ago. There's a three hour version of this on my website, jasonmorgan.co.uk, for those that want more details. As with most of my videos, I've already transferred my pencil drawing onto a canvas which I've taped to a rigid board. And I've sealed that pencil drawing with pastel and pencil fixative, a permanent fixative. Now that stops that drawing from smudging and um, being wiped out really when I'm going over it with layers of acrylic and oil paints. And also especially when I'm toning the canvas. So it's, it's not a real necessary stage, but the alternative would be to actually go over the oil painting, all the pencil lines with an acrylic. And that would um, seal that in. So I think it's a bit easier doing it my way. So here all I've done is mix up just a normal black acrylic paint thinned slightly with water and I'm just going around or colouring in the actual markings, the spots of this leopard. And I'm doing that for um, the main reason is so that I don't lose the spots when I start to go over it with things like um, the tonal underpainting and toning the canvas and those type of elements really. And obviously the spots of the cat really show the form and the shape of the body. So it's quite important for them to be in, in the right area. Okay, on to toning the canvas. So, burnt sienna, water, and it's acrylic paint again. And I'm just scrubbing that in. Now, the reason I'm doing this is just to get rid of that white canvas. It's very, very difficult to, to work out the colours and tones against a white canvas. Everything you put on would probably look too dark. So I find by giving it a warm tone and just scrubbing it in, this really helps me to, to actually more accurately pick out the right tones and colours when I start the oil paints. So I'm just thinning the paint down just with water. Remember this is an acrylic paint at the moment. Just getting rid of that stark white canvas, which you can clearly see is just taped to an MDF board. And I've got it taped to a board just simply because most of my paintings um, ship internationally. And so it's much easier to, to send the painting out rolled up in a, a nice safe and secure tube rather than try to send it out flat if it was a stretch canvas. Okay, so with that all covered and still wet, I just took some kitchen tissue and I'm just wiping it lightly over the whole surface. And that's just smoothing all those brush marks out and also taking a little bit of the paint away just to make it a bit lighter. What I'm going to do is use this wet layer now as my tonal underpainting. So rather than to come over it when it's dry with more paint and create lights and darks, I'm using that kitchen tissue and I'm just wiping out the areas that are going to be really light or a little bit lighter in the finished painting. So you can see how I'm, I'm pushing quite firm now and you've got to work fast otherwise that painting is going to dry. That paint will dry. Acrylic dries very fast as you know. So I'm working around the tail, underneath the tree branch as well. And just wiping those areas off. And I'll continue that now, just on those lighter areas. Also a few areas on the cat itself just to give that a little bit of shape and form and you can see how quickly this technique works. I'm looking to my left as I'm looking at the screen. I've got a, a computer screen by the side of me with the reference image on there. So I'm glancing across all the time, just checking out the areas that are really dark in the reference photo and the areas that are light. Now if you don't work quick enough at this stage, you can always let that acrylic underpainting dry, probably only takes five or ten minutes, 
and then actually come back over it and paint darks on there. Or if you haven't been able to go light enough, you could always add a little bit of acrylic white to your paint mix and actually paint the, the lights in. If you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos, and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, the full length videos, and there's also photo references with the Easy Trace line art on there. I've got quite a few hundred people supporting me, and that's on Patreon. And also if you're after even more reference photos, I've got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos. I think there's about 900 on there at the moment. So that's Wildlife Art hyphen online.com now please with my youtube channel new videos coming on here as well if you can possibly subscribe to the channel then you're never going to miss out on new videos